Today is Voltage Meters 101. We're gonna go over how to use this, how to troubleshoot, and some of the features and benefits. So to begin with, we're gonna turn this device on, plug in the leads, and check for voltage, amperage, and continuity. So the red and black, the red goes into the positive terminal on this side, and the common or black goes into this side. So we're gonna turn this on to the voltage, light it up, and we're gonna switch it to the DC voltage. Let's see how many volts this battery has. We're gonna hang it up here. We're gonna put the positive lead to the positive terminal of the battery on the top and the negative to the lead on the bottom. So we're showing a voltage of 13.45 volts on the battery. Now we're gonna check the AC output voltage on this inverter. So we're gonna switch this to the AC, take this cover off, and we're gonna take the negative to the negative or neutral here. And we're going to do the positive or hotline to the other side. And what we're showing is 120 volts. So some voltmeters also have a feature where you can read amperage with this little loop right here and it opens up. So we're going to switch this to the amperage setting. Make sure it's on DC. And we're going to check the amperage of the battery. So you take the circle, open it up, and put it around the wire. And we're showing not much amperage coming in at a third of a volt. Another feature of a voltage meter is continuity. You can check to see if you have a closed or open circuit. And when you switch it to it, it will give you an audible tone. So this symbol here is the tone. We're gonna see if we have continuity between the, the battery monitor device right here. And as you can hear, you have a tone that means you have a closed circuit. A voltmeter is a great tool to have because you can quickly see if there's a problem with your system. For example, is your battery dead or is it full? You can check the leads and attach it to the battery. Or for example, if one of the switches was bad, you can check for continuity. There's various different things you can do with a voltmeter to check your system. If you have any questions on how to use a voltmeter to troubleshoot your system, give us a call or visit our website.